Hi there, I'm Bonnie McCaffrey. Thanks so much for coming back this month. I think you're really going to enjoy this. I'm at the Festival of Quilts in England, and there are quilts from around the world here, and it's just an amazing exhibit. So come on with me, and we'll take a look. Okay, Pauline, can you tell me about this wild and crazy thing hanging here? Yeah, well, we all had to make cubes, and so I thought it was a play on words. I have a cubicle, which is the box, and all the cuboids, families of cuboids, live inside the box. So all of these fit in the box? They're all of these fit in the box, 27 of them. Nine in each row. Okay. Got lying that. on top of each other. Yeah. And they've got windows to look out Can of. Can you show me a window? Yep. Window is here. Oh, I see it. There's a window there. Yeah, and there's a window on each wall. And on top we have the dice. Oh, that's a good thing. Ho is a bit damaged, but <laughs> the when they make decisions, they throw the dice. Uh, and it's a bit damaging, so the dice wears armor. <laughs> and if it's a six, it's yes, and if it's a one, it's no. And something in between for a decision, it's a compromise. And his leg's falling off. He should be asleep up there. We should all make decisions like that, throwing the dice. Yeah. <laughs> it's mad, but it was it great. It was great fun. Okay, Margaret, tell me about your beautiful piece here. Um, well, it's the inspiration was more cross pottery. I don't know if you know more cross pottery. It's quite famous. I do right. know more oh, cross right, pottery. Then. I've seen it here. Somebody else told me about it. Yeah. Right. Okay, well, I really love it. I can't afford it, but it does inspire me. Okay, having done that one and spent months and months doing it, this one came much easier because I sorted out the technique and yeah. um, just got on it and I love birds as well so that was um, oh, also that. Bad.
one of the things I'm really enjoying at the show is the embellishments. And this is a quilt by Kate Crossley. I wish that I could have met up with Kate Crossley because I would love to have talked to her about her quilt to find out about all of these embellishments and what they might mean. So Kate, send me an email. So here's a quilt that I found particularly uh, intriguing because of the embellishments. Now I'm certainly a sparkly rhinestone person, so rhinestones are great to me, but I love what she's done with the quilting and the combination of the rhinestones to embellish the quilting. Um, it's called Pathways, and it basically was um, created as a addressing endangered forests. Uh, although I know in Ontario these forests are not endangered as such, but I wanted to bring kind of ghostly images, the positive and the negative, uh, into the piece, but using some color that. Uh, made the viewer feel at home and uh, like you're walking through the park exactly the images are transferred onto cotton with an acrylic medium okay are they screened no 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 it's uh, it's Brush. it's a medium picture this uh, that oh. way and in fact the black and whites consist of several large um, laser jet prints that have been pull together. Black and white's very forgiving mm. um, and you, if you get up close you can see the seams. The coloured uh, aspects were transfer dye with marks, permanent marks made on it, transfer dye uh, on a poly sateen. So um, that's really, there's only the transfer dye and the uh, acrylic trans, the image transfer, image transfer and yeah. uh, machine quilted, yes. Yeah. Uh, Love your piece and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.